But first, you know, why why was it a document a scripted documentary essentially? We really wanted the faux documentary aspect of it because it's we are exploring in the film a few things, but like but one is about what is the truth. And a lot of folks take documentary uh, filmmaking and storytelling as fact and the truth, and what you're seeing is is uh, is absolute, and that's not the case. Adama, in terms of directing, what is the secret to directing actors in this scripted, but you want to be capturing them authentically in character, right? The stakes are always that you all are about to lose everything, and so you have to try your damnedest to, to make it all work. And so it's like, it, it's not it's not being aware that there is like a scripted part and then, or the faux documentary part and then like the more cinematic parts. It's, it's always real, it's always the same thing. It's always real life for y'all at all times. How did you think about your character's relationship with the camera? Like what work did you all do to cultivate the mockumentary, it seems like style of acting? It, and that is an interesting thing. I would actually say Lee Curtis is way more comfortable yeah. with the idea of walking outside and there being cameras. Because I think the more cameras there are, I think the more value he thinks he has to do God's work, right? The more people who see him, the more souls he can touch. For Trinity, she's a lot more aware of the camera and uncomfortable with mm -hmm. the camera. Lee Curtis loves the camera. <laughs> you know, he loves all eyes on him and he's very comfortable with taking center stage. And Trinity's not comfortable. She's also a little more aware of um, the depth of this scandal and crisis and, 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 um, uh, and aware of, I would say, of how anything can, Anita may say, oh, I just want to do a great story on you, but the, the reality is this could be anything.